Dear young professionals, dear students, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are connected from to this hybrid events on the 10th International Advocacy Workshop. I want to thank Universidad Panamericana, Instituto de Análisis de Política Familiar, and Red de Universidades Anahuac for their partnerships in the organization of this workshop. And I hope we can keep our collaboration in the future. As you know, the International Advocacy Workshop is always a milestone in our advocacy training projects. Through the years, we have reached entry-level professionals and students with a strong interest in the family from diverse geographical, cultural, and academic backgrounds. The project has included internship programs in New York, Geneva, Brussels, and Strasbourg for several years, as well as different stayings in European and American cities where we work. The workshops critically assess the field of international human rights and development advocacy its institutions, strategies, and key actors. They explore how domestic, regional, and agendas are set, the ethical and accountability dilemmas that arise, and advocacy concerning a range of actors, including governments, international institutions, and private sector. This task has become especially important with the difficulties that we have all gone through in the last months, the economic recession, aggravated by a long pandemic as humanity hadn't suffered for more than a century. And now, before finishing it, the consequences of the war in Eastern Europe that is affecting the whole world. This situation as and is still affecting many areas in our lives, emotional well-being, relationships, and in the economy, with many people feeling the strain in their families' relationship, being out of work, and businesses facing the possibility of permanent closure. And as we are now removing the dressing of some of these wounds to see what we have left with, we need to be prepared that things might be different in the future. In the middle of all this, there is sunshine. Something is clear. Family have shown once more how much we need their presence and strength in our lives. Because no matter who you are, and where you live, you should be able to live in a place that is healthy, prosperous, and resilient. More inclusive communities have better education outcomes, less crime, and more economically, and are more economically productive, and have a high level of civic cohesion. There is also another benefit to being exposed to and interacting with people that are different from each other, developing empathy. As always, we have followed closely the work of the United Nations to reach these goals. In June 2020, the International Federation for Family Development, IFFD, was invited to participate in an expert group meeting organized by the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs to prepare the new international year of the family in 2024. Concerning the appropriate ways and means to observe this, the expert agreed to focus on major trends identified and the impact on families, including new technologies, climate change, urbanization and international migration, and demographic change. In terms of parenting and parenting education, the meeting focused 
on their relevance for the achievement of the sustainable development goal number 16, which is for promoting peaceful and inclusive society for sustainable development and social cohesion. Ignacio Socias invited as an expert representing IFFD and the civil society, highlighted the importance and of parenting education for strong intergenerational interaction between the concepts and significance of positive parenting. Other regional overviews of parenting education featured by Jose Alejandro Vasquez were addressed along with gender perspective on care and parenting and the role of fathers, as well as the importance of green parents. Thank you, Ignacio and Alex, for your contribution. Consequently, the General Assembly issued a resolution on the preparation for an observance of the 30th anniversary of the International Year of the Family. That invites relevant stakeholders as part of the preparation of the 30th anniversary of the International Year of the Family to support research and awareness raising activities at the national, regional, international level on the impact of technology, demographic, urbanization, migration, and climate change trends on families in order to harness their positive effects and mitigate the negative impacts. In order to follow up on the preparation and set the tone and the pace of the discussion until the celebration of the 30th anniversary of the International Year of the Family, IFFD will lead the drafting of a civil society declaration to the United Nations and the member states, promote the organization of raise awareness meetings and promoting the preparation of various events towards 2024. The civil society declaration is a key instrument to focus engagement and communicate the main challenges and solutions that the family is facing these days. It will be a roadmap for various enriching discussions and implementations of policies around the globe. We have done that by arranging 16 raise awareness events, two expert group meetings, three focus group, and 18 Zoom meetings, 64 draft suggestions, and 23 expert recommendations to work on this civil society declaration. What I want to send to you is this very message. We need the contribution of many students and young professionals like you who feel the need to fulfill this task and want to learn from our own experience. As only by ensuring its continuity, we will be able to consolidate it and for the next generation. Please feel free, feel invited to join us in this endeavor by joining our advocacy training program and contributing to all these activities. Finally, I wish you a very fruitful workshop, hoping that it will not only be the beginning, but it will be a continuous and sustained commitment to our work in favor of the families worldwide. Thank you very much.